what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so just going to talk about some other details that came out from that interview that happened with geek out cinema with the screen 5 filmmakers as you saw in the thumbnail yes the majority of this video uh the important topic is that yes roger l jackson will be back to reprise his role as ghostface the voice that has been haunting us since the first screen film came out in december of 1996 you know roger l jackson he is the heart and soul of that character a lot of people would argue without Roger L. Jackson, there is no Ghostface, there is no Scream. I, I know there was a hashtag going around earlier, no Scream without Roger or no Ghostface without Roger when we thought that he would not be back. It seemed very evident that he would be back. In fact, during the interview, um, Tyler Gillette and Matt, ben, Matt ben the Open, the, their reaction to it when they brought up roger was like they thought that it had already been announced and confirmed so apparently back in brazil that was supposed to be the confirmation but the fact that there was still some uncertainty to them was like i guess shocking they thought that was the understanding amongst everyone that roger was back i know when i saw the brazil panel i wasn't 100 percent certain that meant roger would be back i thought that that was just you know him just doing that for the brazil panel but apparently that was their way of trying to confirm yes roger will be back in this film so that's very exciting roger l jackson only he can do that voice in the manner that we're most familiar with in a manner that i think haunts a lot of us still to this day if you're one of those people who is genuinely scared by these movies and you just get a thrill out of being scared by them at this point for me i'm not really scared of any horror film including scream there's just something about those type of movies that i love so i'm excited that roger l jackson will be back and i know that he has done a lot of other smaller roles throughout his career that i just recently became aware of he had a hand in a lot of cartoons that i watched growing up which i find to be completely shocking so he's a very talented voice actor can't wait to see him back in screen five i know he was involved with the third season of the screen tv series so it'll be nice to see him return in the screen film franchise so another thing that i want to talk about was this trailer now we don't know when we'll be getting our first look at screen five i know a lot of people were hoping that it would be before the end of the year to honor the anniversary of the first film we didn't get anything when that date came and went um, not even a single tweet from the official screen twitter page we just got crickets now based off of this interview that they had with geek out cinema there the studio isn't even expected to see anything until late to mid february and then at that point they'll probably decide to do the marketing by the end of quarter one going into quarter two if i'm re remembering the words exactly from what i heard in the interview and then what that tells me what my what my hope is that we'll get a scream five trailer or teaser attached to the release of a quiet place two when that film comes out we'll get to see our first look at screen five in april sometime and it'll be attached to the release of a quiet place 2 when it comes out in april in 2021 if nothing happens and you know they don't delay that film any further because a quiet place 2 and screen 5 both will be being distributed by paramount pictures so you have an opportunity there to attach screen 5 a first look at screen 5 onto the onto the release of a major film that many people were looking forward to this year they got delayed due to the ongoing pandemic so i think in april that's my prediction we'll see something for screen 5 in april to hype up hype up the film and to attach it to a quiet place to get people to go out and see the film so they can go see that first look at screen five if they don't have access to see it online for whatever reason but another thing that was brought up during this interview was apparently they're really confident in their decision behind casting dylan minette now dylan minette i know most people are familiar with him playing clay jensen in 13 reasons why on netflix he is an amazing actor i really think he is an amazing actor i can't wait to see what he brings to the table in screen five he does a very good job at playing a very sympathetic character but also drawing like he can be very sympathetic but then he can also 
show you a crazy side as we saw on 13 reasons why because the last season of 13 reasons why clay was borderline insane in my opinion the way he kind of went in and out of this insanity was very very unsettling to watch so i know that's why a lot of people also thought that dylan minette would make a very good ghost face i think he could give a very interesting performance post mask reveal but i don't think he's going to be the killer he would do a phenomenal job if that was the case but i don't think he's going to be getting that opportunity this time around i know he's going to be portraying uh judy hicks son wes hicks that's pretty much been out in the open for months now so we know that he'll be portraying Wes Hicks, the son of Judy Hicks, and I don't see him being the killer, but they're pretty confident in him and them and them casting him in this film. So I can't wait to see what he does or how he factors into the narrative, what his role will ultimately be. Besides, you know, just being the son of Judy Hicks, what will he contribute to the narrative? I don't see him being the killer. I just see him being one of the one of the teens that's around for the kill count this time. I, I don't see him making it out of this film alive. But yes, I know that if he were to be Ghostface, he would probably give one of the best post reveal performances that we've had in quite some time he'd give he'd give us some give us something very memorable because my first when i realized dylan minette was going to be something interesting was back when i saw him in i knew he was going to be a big star i had high hopes for him when i first saw him in let me in that remake of let the right one in that came out in 2010 um he starred in that film alongside chloe grace moretz and the other kid who played the boy that was the main focus of that film but he was the bully in that film he was very very believable in that role very menacing very unsettling to watch as he bullied that that little kid in that film i knew dylan minette was going to be someone who we needed to pay attention to after i saw him in that film and then he was in the goosebumps films then he was in uh don't breathe dylan minette is very talented so i can't wait to see what he does in screen five i hope he is not just a throwaway character a lot of people speculate that he could be a randy type character of sorts but we'll see what happens down the road when we get to screen five january 14th of 2022 so i know a lot of you guys are excited to know that roger l jackson will be back i know i'm making this video a little late most of you probably already knew this but i just want to put this out there for those who did not know yes roger l jackson will be back to reprise his role of ghostface he will be on the phone haunting everyone and it'll be nice to see how he interacts with these people because i believe it'll be more than just text messages this time i have a high hope for that but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts I'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video